The Coin Lady channel is pleased to have you back. We have an issue with XRP that needs to be resolved. This video covers two important topics that are coming up in the next days, the Coinbase versus the SEC case and its impact on XRP. It also discusses a potential settlement and ETF. If you want to stay updated on everything happening in the cryptocurrency space, subscribe to the channel. We talk about XRP almost every day. So, hit that like button and activate your notification bell if you're into that. Now that we've established that, let's get down to brass tacks and discuss this matter in detail. So, this is the disgorgement of $3 billion. How does this relate to Ripple? At the same time, we are patiently awaiting a resolution to the protracted legal case with the SEC, which is currently at 312 Ripple. There is a lot of excitement building up to what may be a $3 billion price tag. Based on the XRP token secondary sales, this is what the SEC put on it. Ripple has long denied this, so now we know for sure that the court is debating whether or not this will pass. The company might be in for a rough patch if Torres decides that the sales of XRP RDL were not investment contracts. In December 2020, Ripple sold approximately 3 billion XRP, and the firm will have to pay a fine of $3 billion to $3.5 billion to the SEC. They are now reacting to the fact that the corporation is being sued for regulatory assets. This particular lawsuit set has also been defended by the SEC. In 2013, the firm raised $1.3 billion through the sale of unregistered securities. All of this is clearly happening as the XRP court case on April 16 and 24 draws nearer and nearer. We now know that the SEC and Ripple have engaged in extensive private negotiations to attempt to reach a resolution. Clearly, new regulatory requirements for cryptocurrencies will emerge as a result of the introduction of Bitcoin ETFs. However, it is equally important to note that there is a change in the narrative that is more favorable and supportive of XRP. For the benefit of those who are unaware, we are, of course, anticipating Coinbase's announcement. They have filed a motion to attempt to have these removed and are subsequently involved in a litigation with the SEC once again. Nevertheless, we have been informed of the latest developments and there are four possible outcomes. After considering all four possibilities, the judge rejects Coinbase's motion, the question then becomes how this will impact the XRP lawsuit. The SEC would come out on top in the end, and it would keep moving ahead. In the end, we will see how all of this plays out in perhaps a year or two. The second possibility, which we are leaning toward, is that the judge dismisses the lawsuit in its entirety after granting Coinbase's motion with prejudice. This is the ideal situation for both XRP and the future of the cryptocurrency. Option 3, which would allow Coinbase to amend their lawsuit and address the judge-cited deficiencies, would be slightly more favorable than option 2 because it would establish an absolute narrative and be in line with the courts versus the SEC. As if the SEC were to have a second chance at something. That means Coinbase is going to come out on top, but the SEC has the option to return and make changes. In the end, it comes down to the staking service, as option 4 is a motion that addresses the allegations related to the 13 crypto tokens but rejects them. Now you may be asking how that is relevant to XRP, but in the end, it's tied to a degree and will be another victory or defeat for the SEC, which would certainly bolster or undermine their position. A lot of uncertainty and guesswork has gone into that. Even if a $3 billion settlement is reached, it is crucial to mention. If Coinbase were to come out on top, this figure would drop a lot. I feel it's important to bring it up since, in the end, it all comes down to money. You won't believe the SEC can walk away from this situation and scathe unless you pay them. That's the truth. Look, we can see that the Cole's critical move remedies are in the file, and we can define and decide on those remedies before April 29, 2020. Regarding XRP, there is a great deal to discuss. XRPL has been a hot topic, and its current state is intriguing from an open interest perspective, which we've covered extensively. Current open interest refers to XRP futures contracts. At the moment, the open interest is around the 60 cent mark, even if we reach the closest point, which is simply a cross, there will still be a considerable amount. 
The current bindings on BitMEX are 174 million and 4.3, and on Bybid, they are 165 million. Thus, XRP is currently experiencing a surge in attention. In a same vein, open interest tends to rise in tandem with price, and right now XRP is just sitting pretty. Approximately 5% of the time, we observe the open interest, I expect, will soar once we receive more clarification, in fact, we could see that as early as January 17th. The day is still going strong, hovering around the 57 level. Tell me what you think in the comments section, based on that Coinbase announcement. Where do you stand on the Coinbase case? What impact do you believe it has on the XRP case? I remain quite optimistic about it. In my opinion, the SEC will eventually lose ground to XRP, thus I'm adding to my XRP holdings whenever I can. In any case, please subscribe to the channel and tell me in the comments. Catch you later, farewell.